Hello everybody, this is Roll of Winter Bros, and I'm excited to tell you about our new product, Modeling Made Simple. We're going to show you how to make models completely within, within DAS Studio with no other applications required. You will be able to do this using the uh, primitive shapes that are built into DAS Studio. As you can see here on the screen, we have the cube, the cylinder, the torus, the cone, the sphere, and the plane. And you're going to be able to use all six of these items uh, to different degrees. And it's all up to your imagination and what you uh, what dream up to how to put the shapes together. But you can create a whole lot of static models, which are models without moving parts, uh, strictly by using primitive shapes and scaling, sizing, and uh, positioning them to where you need them. During the training, we're going to show you how to make this classic dart. Uh, this is an actual render with a bullseye, I mean a, a dartboard. But we are going to show you how to make the dart in DAS Studio without anything else. Here's the actual dart in DAS Studio from the training. You're going to learn how to combine the shapes, scale them, position them to create this dart, to hone your skills a little bit, to get more comfortable with the training and using primitive shapes to create your static models. Uh, the training is also going to include how to make this basic sword. It's uh, created completely from primitive shapes. Uh, we uh, applied a few shaders to it for this render, which really makes it look nice. So you can create your own uh, static props in DAS Studio and then make them into, put them into scenes and you can see how well this turned out when we use a shader on it. And here's the actual sword prop in DAS Studio uh, as after we created it. And you can see we're going to teach you how to create the shapes and then to how to export and import all the pieces and build them together and how to modify the geometry to get exactly what you want. And then we're going to show you how to turn these into DAS props so they'll show up in the content library tab so you can load them. When you apply all the techniques that we're going to teach you, you'll be able to make uh, something as awesome as this little aeroplane, <coughs> excuse me, which we've designed uh, completely with DAS Studio uh, with all the parts and accessories. And we'll go into DAS Studio and we'll show you that. We won't show you step by step how to create this aeroplane, but uh, we will show you in one of the demos how to adjust the uh, origin point for pivoting uh, when you actually create the final model. But if you take a look, we'll, just, uh, we'll move around. You see this airplane has jet engines on it. It's got landing gear. It's got uh, the cockpit. We got a translucent shield there over the cockpit. You can see we got a pilot seat and a passenger seat. So there's, a, there's a small dashboard in there. It can use some more refinements if you wanted. You can put ailerons on it, uh, put some more details in the cockpit. But it's a quick demo. This took approximately 20 hours to complete. But it's a good example of the detail and the kind of things you can do uh, for static props uh, using Strictly DAS Studio. And let's go, we'll go ahead and show you that in the content library. You can see here. Uh, we actually have a thumbnail for our aeroplane. So we're going to teach you how to create your, save your uh, models as, as a prop in DAS Studio and how to, uh, how to size up and create this thumbnail. And if you hover over it, you'll also see the tip. And we're going to talk to you about the sizing required for this additional image for your product. And using the techniques that we're going to teach you, uh, you'll be able to create even beyond this, but you'll be able to create whole environments, uh, backgrounds, buildings, um, any kind of uh, industrial stuff you want. There's all kinds of techniques in here that you can take and apply. And the only thing that's going to stop you is your imagination and how you see it and taking the parts together and making them work. That's about well, all we have to talk. Oh my gosh, it's Valentine's Day. I forgot all about Valentine's Day. Uh, oh, we're going to show you something. I, I needed a 3D heart really quick for a card I was going to make the wife, uh, a digital card. I didn't ha hadn't purchased them anywhere. So let's go back into DAS Studio. Oh my gosh, it only took me about less than two minutes to create this heart. I know it's not super fancy, but I did need it for something for my wife because it is Valentine's Day when you celebrate. I'm going to go ahead and go to Wire Texture Shaded Mode here. And if you look at the different geometry lines, you'll realize that this is probably composed of three different shapes. So what we did was I really quickly uh, loaded two spheres. I scaled them down. I loaded a cone and scaled it down. I repositioned them all, cut off some of the geometry for the uh, the spheres, and uh, and what I did was then when I rendered it out, here's what I got, and I was able to have a quick heart shape that I could use uh, on a card for my wife. So using the train this training, if you're in a pinch and you need something really quick to fit polish off a piece of artwork or a scene or just something you're working on, 
the techniques that you're taught will, uh, t you know, you'll be able to apply those in real life. So we hope you enjoyed this video presentation. We hope you piqued your interest in uh, this uh, ma uh, modeling made simple using Strictly Dad Studio. Thank you for your time and have a great day.